This is a quick run through of how to profile a part in SheetCam. To import a drawing, right click in the parts window and click new part. Select a DXF file and click OK. Next you will see the drawing options window, where you can scale the imported drawing for the correct unit of measurement and make sure the part is placed in the lower left corner. Using the nesting tool on the top bar, you can click and drag or bump the part around with the arrow keys to nest the part on the material. To create a cut path, select a tool path tool on the top bar, then click the create a new jet cutting operation button. First, select the contour method. Next, select the layer we are applying this cut path to. In the tool drop down, select the tool you will be cutting with. This is the same list as the tool window on the left side of the screen. Last are the lead in and lead outs. Make sure reverse cut direction is checked, then select the type and length of both the lead in and lead out, then click OK. You should now see the green cut line on your part. You can individually change lead in and lead outs with the start point tool. Right click on the start point you want to change and click properties. Uncheck, use operation lead in and lead out, and you will be able to make the changes. Click OK and you will see the changes to your lead in and lead out. You can change the start point by clicking anywhere along the cut line. We'll move this one to the corner. And again change the lead in and lead out by right clicking the start point and going to properties. Since this is on a corner, we can use the tangent lead in and out. At this point, you have your cut path, start points, and the lead ins and outs look good. You are ready to write the G code by clicking the green P in the top left corner. Save the G code as a tap file. Set your location and file name and hit save. The processor window will flash quickly and go away, and you are done and ready to go cut. This was a quick basic run through of profiling a part in SheetCam.